Hi everybody, this is Kyle Horst with Kirksville Web Design. Uh, I know it's been a really long time since I've made a video, but something exciting has come out with the new Google Sites, and I thought it would be best if I showed you uh, the new things that are possible because of uh, the advancements that the new Google Sites team has made, uh, making this really a viable platform for uh, not just intranets, but um, almost uh, it's going more in the direction of, of public websites and what you can do and what's available. Of course this is going to benefit uh, everybody, this um, uh, new platform and it's something that they are uh, pouring more hours of, well they're pouring all their hours of development into this product. So um, exciting uh, release was that uh, today all everyone gets the um, embed code feature on new Google Sites. So when you double click to add some content, like I'll show you right here, if you double click and hit embed here, you're going to get the URL option, which is by default. A URL is going to be something you can iframe in, like you can iframe uh, just about anything really, unless they've specifically um, you know, disallowed that feature. Um, but you can bring into like into the page a whole uh, website, you know, window iframed into your site. So that's nice. But also embed code, that's the new thing that came out. It says paste HTML code from the site you want to embed. So it's kind of pinpointing, you know, at um, basically, you know, you, you're out on a website, it gives you an embed feature like a um, uh, big one or, you know, Twitter or Facebook, uh, YouTube. Um, of course, YouTube was available before as a insert video option but uh, just like uh, there are plenty of website box you know that give you a, a code snippet that you can now paste into uh, this area on your site and because those are going to ref be referencing uh, outside JavaScript files that's all possible that's all allowed now in this feature so you're able to do that it's not going to strip out your code like the classic Google sites so big advantage there and so I'm going to show you the things that are possible uh, right now in this little play site that I've made uh, to t kind of check out all these features uh, here at the top. So let's go go through through these one by one, shall we? Uh, first of all, the directories uh, and database options. So these are all going to. This is essentially an iframe, but what it's doing is it's bringing into uh, into the page uh, visualized. Uh, Google spreadsheet data. So you know whether it's a uh, a team uh, directory, uh, a, a company directory, and they need to find people. You know, sorting it into the exact team and looking at who those people are. Or uh, this is kind of the same same idea, sort of directory of people. Any sort of database sort of uh, heavy option. We're going to leverage. Uh, this application to bring uh, that information into your into your intranet. So we've used this in a lot of different ways. These are just a couple, just uh, quickly embedded into the site. Now, social media. This was what was immediately uh, recognizable from the announcement post about that. Is that you can just grab that uh, that Twitter. I'll show you what that is. The the Twitter snippet uh, code. Let's take a look there together what that's like. So, you know, it gives you a, a, a simple hyperlink here, it's kind of like their backup, but then this is just a JavaScript uh, reference. Uh, so, you know, pointing to, uh, to Twitter's own uh, code there. So you just plop that in and you're going to get uh, a Twitter gadget. But then we've, we've looked into other ones that are available, you know, quick ones like Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, uh, all all possible there. So then we thought, well, let's take this a bit further. Let's try like more like custom coding things into the site. You know, using custom HTML, CSS, uh, maybe some JavaScript or jQuery, and uh, bringing things into the site. They're more dynamic, so you know this is going to be more difficult with the classic sites. But really, you can just start coding directly into a uh, an embed code gadget widget thing and start making your own buttons, your own hover, you know, animations, all that kind of stuff. 
so making your site more more dynamic, more fun. Same thing here with like cards. You could uh, uh, design up some cards, which really right now is impossible to kind of break your site up into like a card type layout. Uh, these could be clickable if you wanted, and you can customize them in any any sort of way. Sort of like um, I was looking at uh, Apple's site today. You know, they have this kind of like card idea here. That's big with uh, Google's um, material design as well. Um, so kind of utilizing that. Uh, slideshows, of course, always been something that people are interested in with Google Sites. Uh, so I got some embedded in here for you, just simple examples. And then uh, I even put one in the header as well because you know sometimes you want something that's going to uh, really show off there in the header and be able to slide through some different objects. Now, because Google, uh, because these gadgets are constrained, you know, they're just within the content area. I'll show you what I mean. See, they're just plopped in here into the content area, just placed here. So it's not going to reach out into the extremities of the site. So you kind of have to design with that in mind, play with that a little bit, and play by the rules in order to make it uh, look good. So either you're going with a uh, fixed fixed dimensions here of a picture. Uh, I mean, of course, this is responsive, but I just mean like it's working within the content area, content uh, section of the of the site. And there's some uh, pagination accordion options are available here. Uh, I was just kind of playing around with that. I don't know if that one works too well. It kind of does, but for some reason it takes it to the top of your <laughs> of the page every time. But anyways, those are things, things I'm playing with and um, looking forward to uh, developing this out some more. And you know, it's great for everyone. You can play around with this, uh, these features. Let me know if I can help. Uh, you can leave comments uh, below. And uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for tuning in. And we'll see all, all these fun th things coming out with new Google Sites. It's nice, new, fresh direction and uh, we can build some awesome sites together. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, check out kirksvillewebdesign.com uh, for more information, uh, more news, or my blog, googlesiteswebdesign.com. All right, uh, talk to you later. Thanks, bye.